Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. Today we're doing another pick a card reading and we have five tarot decks before us. And the question we're asking is, what is it that we need to do that will bring us the most fulfillment in our lives? And uh, this was one of the requests uh, from one of my subscribers a reg or a regular viewer. And her name is Claudia Lombok. And she's asked the question, uh, what gift or talent or creative power uh, do I have that will bring me joy in cultivating it and giving it to the world. And so that is basically the question that we're asking today. And so we're looking at what area in our lives do we need to focus on that will bring us the most fulfillment, that will bring us the most joy, and that will also bring uh, a most benefit in this world, okay? And uh, so that's the question I'm asking. And uh, we have, as I mentioned, five tarot decks here, deck one, two, three, four, and five. So go right ahead, make a selection, and uh, you'll find the timestamp in the description box below. So for those of you who have chosen the first deck, the question we're asking is, what is it that we need to do that will bring us the most fulfillment in this world? Whether that be a gift or a talent or perhaps a psychic power or anything else, any clues about what it is that we need to do that will bring us the most fulfillment and bring most benefit into this world. So I'm going to go ahead and begin shuffling the cards. And... Um, well, yeah, while I concentrate on this. Well, there are so many people watching this video and it's going to be different for different people. And ideally, uh, if you want to know this, you should ask a psychic to do a reading for you or basically ask somebody who um, who can actually help you with this. And as this is a pick a card reading, there's only so many possibilities I can give you here uh, because, um, you know, otherwise I would it would be hours long if I have to list all the professions and all the trades that um, that this actually describes. So. Uh, one of the things I want to say is that um, you could work in the in the area of uh, law or medicine and or you could be um, a speaker, somebody who clarifies things, somebody who brings information out in a form uh, of uh, to the world that is very logical, very rational, um, uh, that you could di dissect uh, difficult concepts and, and make it more palatable for the world. What I'm hearing here is that the way in which you should go about doing this or how it will manifest into your life is not about sitting around and dreaming about it or making a, thinking about how you could go about uh, making it happen. It would be about really just getting um, right into it. Okay, so when you have the urge, uh, this is extremely important, when you have the urge to, to do something, just do it is what 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 they're saying that you should do don't delay don't think about don't think that it's going to take a long time and that you need to put a lot of preparation into this and that it's going to take years for you to actually make this manifest what they're saying is that um and this comes out in two cards here the message is very clear just go ahead with it act impulsively move on when you know you know what it is that you need to be doing okay just go ahead and do it and don't worry about conforming to norms with regard to how that is done um what they're saying is that um, you will excel in an area which is um, where you can disseminate information. And that may be uh, in any area. It could, it could be policy making. It could be uh, in the law. It could be, as I, I mentioned, in, in medicine. And it's, it's about being very clear. It's about being very um, focused and clear about what it is that you need uh, to do so where is what will bring you the most fulfillment in this life is to work or to be in a particular way that brings uh, clarity and brings focus w into a, a given situation it also uh, asks you to um, be detached from in, from emotion when you do this and I feel that many of you will be already inclined to do this, you know, uh, to be in a way that uh, you're not you're not the the soppy types, you're not the uh, sentimental uh, type of folk. You are basically uh, going to say it like it is, 
you're going to cut through the information and you're going to make it bring it in in perfectly palatable forms to people to be able to consume uh, whether it is a patient or a client or whether it is um you know whether you're a politician and you go out there and you're needing to bring this to your people i'm not really able to tell you which career you need to work in but what i'm going to say is that um that aspect of you being very clear is what you need to put out into the world that aspect of you um uh, and your clear thought your 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 ability to have a an incisive um way of thinking about things that uh puts out information in a very clear manner so that people can consume that so that people can benefit from that um that is what's going to bring you the most fulfillment in all of this uh, and i'm hearing that um and i'm seeing in the cards i'm hearing as well once again uh it doesn't need to be something that takes years to put out there you move very fast you move actually at lightning speed and you can actually the way the way in which it will work for you the way in which you'll find the fulfillment and the way in which it will benefit other people is when you do it in this impulsive way when you act upon your impulse when you are not spending too much of time when you're not procrastinating uh this doesn't call for procrastination this calls about going ahead with things even if you're uncertain even if it comes out of control a little bit at times it's about going ahead anyway uh even when it doesn't fit into the norms here even when it's not the the what what fits the stereotype you are asked to step outside of um a paradigm of thinking that is the usual paradigm of thinking and form your own and with that bring forth information in a very clear and precise incisive manner so that is what i see uh as a predominant skill or a predominant aspect of one's life uh which will bring you a great deal of fulfillment and i feel that for some of you uh this is something that you might be working on your entire life so you might be the furthest thing from this right now and you might be watching this and think oh god that's not possible i can't even articulate a sentence and um but in fact what 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 you've been asked to do is work towards that so it doesn't necessarily mean that you already embody this perfect speech or that you already embody this very clear form of thought where you're able to um extract information uh sort it out in your mind uh, and and put it out there in in a manner in which people can understand it doesn't mean that you have this already it means that you need to work on this through your lifetime you need to also work on not um on following your own rules yeah you set the law here for you okay and this is what's going to bring you the most fulfillment and when you are really true to yourself in this particular way this is what will benefit other people because i feel that this is it's not just to do with the way in which you relate to people what information you bring to people although that is a very important part of it it's also that people draw inspiration from you when you uh are uh behaving in this manner when you are uh behaving in a manner where you acting upon your impulse courageously you're not doubting yourself as you move along you actually go forth with a a force within you and this is uh something uh that is powerful and it's it's something that's very courageous and it inspires people okay um it also it helps people the just the information that you're giving them is helping people so yes whatever it whatever um work that you do or however you interact with society as long as far as it's concerned with um uh, with providing information or um interpreting information or uh consulting with with clients you're going to you're going to the you are working really hard right now to be this person who is uh incisive and just clear and and quick quick-witted as well and and uh when you are this person it's going to be of great benefit for you and you're going to gain a lot of fulfillment and this is how you know you will be of value to people okay so i think that's it for those of you who chose um uh this deck here so for those of you who've chosen this deck here the question we're asking today is what is it that i need to do that will bring me the most fulfillment in this world and will bring the most benefit to this world this may be a gift a talent a psychic power
Okay, so what I'm seeing here, for those of you who've chosen the deck two, is that um, you've been, the, what you need to do is let go of the past. What you need to do is heal your wounds. Because that is the first step in being able to uh, get onto a clear path where you can actually help yourself. So you, the, what, what the cards are showing me here is that you, you are somebody who's not allowing um, the, the events to unfold naturally because you are hanging on to something in the past which has hurt you. So it's almost like a grudge that you hold. It's almost like a, a hurt that you have that you've now decided to keep close to your heart so that you never are hurt again. And what they're saying is the best thing that you can do is actually to allow events to unfold naturally. Stop holding on so tight. Let go and just enjoy. And also, as you let go, allow yourself to release old hurts. Work through old hurts and release them for once and for all. And recognize that those old hurts is not what defines you, but actually what defines you is who you want to be. You can be anything and anyone that you want to be in this given situation, but you aren't able to do that right now because you are still in a situation where you're hurting from the past. And so that is what you need to do. And that is the first step here. So this is not somebody who the people have chosen this card are not necessarily people who are just ready to embark upon a new path where you are, you know, doing something that's bringing a lot of fulfillment in your life, etc. The what they're showing me is that the first thing you need to do here is heal yourself. The first thing you need to do here is allow old hurts and difficulties that you've experienced in the past to be a thing of the past and not to hold on to them so tightly in the present because this is not going to allow you to go ahead and be the person that you are or that you need to be. And then what they show me is that the person that you are, okay, or the person that you need to be is actually somebody who's able to give so much. The, the type of person that you are is somebody who has always been very sensitive and and when you've been hurt, uh, you've closed up. And as a result, you haven't opened up again. So what they are saying is that all you have to do is be yourself and be open. And when you are yourself and when you have let go of the past and, and the difficulties that you're still holding on to in the, in the, in the fear that you, you, may be able, you may repeat that in your life or that may come your way again. Uh, but when you've released that, what you can find is that you have a very open heart. You have a very, you, you know, your heart chakra is really emphasized here. And you have a lot that you can give people. In fact, you exist solely for the purpose of others and for bringing well-being to others and the way in which you do this is with extraordinary compassion and and healing power and so what i'm what i'm hearing here is that in order for you to be able to open up and really enable that healing to come out into the world by just you being yourself and this person with compassion and understanding and patience um, you need to be able to just heal and let go of these things here that are still holding you back. Uh, the other thing I'm hearing here is that um, when you've done this, okay, you will find that just simply by being yourself, whether it's by walking down the street to a local shop to buy um, something or to going to the local bakery and picking up some bread, just by you being who you are with the openness that you need to have in your life, with this open heart chakra, not a blocked one. Um, this is just by being you is all that you need to be, is all that will bring the benefit into this world. And it is all that will bring you untold fulfillment. The, um, the amount of fulfillment and happiness that you have the potential to have is so is heightened. It's, you know, it's so much more than many, many other people. And so you have the potential to re reach extraordinary heights of fulfillment and happiness but you can't do that unless you let go of these things that are holding you back and it's it has to do predominantly with a mindset of not letting of holding on too tight not letting things unfold naturally so you may have a propensity to decline if, uh, offers or invitations or not particularly be too adventurous in, in going out and getting what you want being extra cautious because you're trying to protect yourself well they saying you don't need to be that way. You don't need to be extra cautious. You simply need to be cautious. You don't need to give yourself away. Um, you don't need to 
lose yourself in the process. You simply need to be yourself. And um, it's okay to let go of the past. It's okay to let go of that pain. It's okay to let go of these things that are holding you behind. And it's okay to also acknowledge that, that this is actually happening. It's okay to see that this is what you've been doing and this is how and this is how it's been manifesting that it's been manifesting in a way in which you're holding yourself back you're not allowing the wheels of karma to turn you're not allowing your life to go ahead and as i said once you do that you will find um extraordinary fulfillment in the quotidian things in life simply going out there and interacting with people some or even just interacting with people on the comment section of a youtube channel this will bring fulfillment to you and to others but these things are all a bit blocked right now and you can't really access them or if you do access them you access them um in a well to a degree but not to, um, in its entirety so that was your message for those of you who've chosen uh this particular um deck here it was the the number two okay for those of you who've chosen the deck number three the question we're asking today is what do i need to do to find fulfillment, to feel the fulfillment that I need that, or that I desire in my life. What is it that I need to do to feel fulfillment and to be of benefit to those around me? In other words, what are my gifts or talents? Or what is it simply that I must do to have that? For those of you who've chosen this uh, deck here, the third option, what I'm seeing is that you have everything that you you need in your life. You actually are so blessed and you have the happiness. Your dreams are true in your life. Yeah, it's not about a matter of whether it will come true or whether it can come true. It simply is true. And it's almost as if uh, they're showing me that you've had a life that's quite a... Um, an easy life in a way. Now you may not feel that way, but along the way in your life, you've had, you've always had the presence of um, angelic support and spiritual support. You've always had mentorship. You've always been guided. You've always been held. You've been protected in a way that other people are not necessarily protected. And you have everything that you need to be happy. Okay. Now I see that uh, you're a very blessed individual. You are somebody who has so many abilities and skills that you can put almost anything to, to use and you can gain great fulfillment out of this. It's just a matter of you choosing what it is that you, you need. Now, where it is that you need to work on is that, uh, or what is it that's blocking that fulfillment or not uh, allowing you to have complete and uh, fulfillment? There is a sense here that um, the relationships that you have with others uh, can be fraught with difficulty. Uh, so why, whereas you have a lot of blessings in your life and you have many skills and many abilities and you might even be somebody who's very intelligent and you 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 actually have uh, difficulties relating to people because you are perhaps misunderstood or you somehow in some way seek um, to sabotage your relationships. So it's almost as if when things are going too good, you can't actually allow that to be it's like you almost say well you know um this is too good and then it's, uh, distrust uh, creeps in and um things uh unfold in a way that doesn't necessarily need to unfold in that way i'm seeing that uh, there there are a lot of relationships that you have where you kind of push people away from you or you you manage people uh in a in an abrupt way uh this is something where it's almost as if you feel that they want to get something out of you and you distrust them this is so this is actually what you need to work on you need to recognize your gifts in your life because you have all these gifts you really need to recognize that you're blessed and nobody's going to take this away from you okay you need to completely acknowledge all the wonderful things that you have in your life and recognize that 
that is your blessing to this world. This is what you need to find your joy and fulfillment in and relish that, celebrate it, rejoice in it. And the relationships that you have with other people, they don't need to have an intensity. They don't need to have um, this. They can be more buoyant. They can be lighter. They can be fun. They don't have that. They, they doesn't have to be this element of difficulty that is somehow always introduced. W w yeah, it's like they show me you dancing, you know, like you're doing the tango with difficulty in relationships. And this is the image that I, I'm getting. Whereas you don't need to. You can just be having a good time, you know, and you don't need to distrust these people and, and you don't need to uh, take them so close to your heart. You know, like little things bother you. Like if somebody says something to you, you might. Um, take it personally and then you just don't like this person anymore and you may push them away or you may act, respond in an abrupt way with them and what I'm hearing is that you need to stop doing that because your gift here is to give to people because you have so much you've been born with so much um, so many blessings and I'm not saying that you haven't had a difficult life or you haven't had your fair share of experiences and challenges in your life but you still have so much more than many other folk okay what you need to do here is is stop this um, lower vibrational petty uh, discord that you have with others uh, don't delve into that it's like a, a rhythm you know it's like a pattern that you keep returning to well break that cycle stop it and and recognize it for what it is and stop it and just simply enjoy people and accept them for who they are and they're not trying to change you they're not trying to steal something from you and even if they are you don't need to change you just need to be yourself and you don't need to let that bother you okay and, and because the thing is that as long as you continue having this kind of turbulence in terms of your relationships with people uh, and i'm not just talking about relationships in love here this is to do with you know your all your relationships uh, with with everyone so you, you know it's somehow like you find a way of uh, seeing the negative in a situation even if that person is just there to give you so much and to to give you this love um, you you it's like it's hard for you to trust that okay so that is what you need to work on and when you're able to do that as you change your encounters will become sweeter you, and you will be able to give what you have. So these gifts and blessings that you have here, have you have them because you need to share them with other people. You need to be the giver in this context. But in fact, what you are is that you're protecting yourself and you don't want to give because you're afraid that they're going to take it all and you will be left with nothing. And so you're protecting yourself. But what you need to recognize is this is not a limited source. This is an This is unlimited. This is, there's an infinite source of goodness and wealth and well-being that comes from within you that you can share with other people and that you can actually give to other people. And in doing that, in doing that, it'll bring up some hurt for you. But at the same time, what it's going to be doing is it's going to be actually bringing you the fulfillment that you desire. Because these two cards here show me that you here you are hurt and you're not able to actually um, express your hurt. You're not really able to. There's a reason that you're behaving this way. And the reason is this. You've been heartbroken along the way. You've lost your trust in people. You don't want to let them too close to you. You don't even believe they're on the same league as you. You know, it's like you feel pretty special and you are. Well, we all are. Um, we are all pretty special and unique, but you feel like you just don't want to let these people come anywhere close to you because you know that they have the potential to hurt you. But as soon as you realize that you don't need to be doing this, that you can actually face this pain, work through this kind of uh, this distrust that you have and be open in this way here, this is where your fulfillment comes in. And the benefit that it has to other people is that you share your blessings with them. And the benefit that it has to you is that you finally throw off this wet blanket that's been covering you or that you've been, you know, uh, curled up under. And you finally throw it off of you and you basically step out into the world and you be yourself. 
And yes, you know, you will uh, face criticism at times. And yes, you will, it will not be what people expect from you. And yes, there will be people who will demand a lot from you and will actually, uh, it will put you off and you, you, it will make you go want to run back into your cave and just guard your blessings, you know, push them away from you. But what you'll realize is that if you can do this in a fearless way, if you, if you can heal yourself and recognize that you have this abundance and it's not going anywhere in this lifetime. It's going to be there and there's going to be even more of it. And you actually can um, experience this joy. You, should, you can actually go ahead and taste this milk. You know, you can go ahead and drink this milk and taste it and enjoy it. You just don't need to be saving it up and keeping it there and actually just keeping it for yourself and chasing away those who come to, to drink from your, your nectar. Uh, you have this, this all these wonderful uh, attributes and these, and the, so much to share and so much to give that so many people can benefit from. And the benefit that it has to them is much greater than you realize, and it's much greater than they actually. Uh, and sorry, it's much greater than they actually can give back to you. You know, but your fulfillment comes from being able to enjoy doing exactly that, and working through this hurt. And re repairing these relationships. Now, I'm not saying that you need to go back and repair every relationship in your life. Let go of that. Observe how you behave in the future and, and see how you can get beyond this in the future. And as I mentioned, you know, take the time to enjoy your blessings. You know, one of the things that people do nowadays, uh, which is very useful, is uh, they do a, a gratitude journal. A gratitude journal is a fantastic thing to do because we live in an age in which we uh, forget how much we have in our lives and how much we are, we are grateful for. Uh, we, we could be grateful for, I mean. And so, you know, if that's what actually uh, floats your boat, then go ahead and do a gratitude journal, you know, simply... Um, write down uh, on a daily basis five or more things that you're grateful for and that's one way to begin and of course you can do it any which way you like that's just a suggestion and start understanding and truly appreciating what you have you know uh, just truly appreciate that you can do the things that you're doing truly appreciate that you can sit here and watch this video uh, and that you have um um, an internet connection that's working, that you have a device from which you can see it, that you, are, that you have this advice. Uh, and so basically, um, a, a lot of this boils down to you recognizing how much you actually have in your life and that it's not going to be stolen from you. It's not going to be taken away from you. Even though you may believe that there's a threat of that, it's not actually going to be taken away from you. And the more you give, the more fulfillment you will have in your life. Okay, and the more open you are, the more happiness you will draw to you and yeah and the more you'll be the more open you are the more you'll be able to give that's how and they then you have your fulfillment and your your ability to be grateful for and to enjoy all that you have in your life okay because this is not about what you need this is not somebody here who needs something you're not in need of anything you have everything and if you don't have something you have the ability to create it in a moment's notice so it's about simply enjoying what you have okay i think i've labored on about that so i'm gonna stop now and uh, we're gonna move on to the next one so for you those of you who've chosen the fourth deck here the question we're asking is what do i need to do what do i need to know to have fulfillment in my life and to bring the most benefit to this world where does my fulfillment lie So for those of you who've chosen this, um, the, th the fourth deck, it has a similar message, I think, to the first one. And it certainly has the same two cards there in, this, um, in a very similar position as well. And part of the message is similar to the first one, but it's different. What they are saying to you here is that um, 
You may be drawn to something which is a more orthodox way of doing things, or you may be drawn to traditional professions uh, and a traditional way of doing things. But being in that, uh, as much as it's going to give you a lot of happiness and you're going to feel very fulfilled in it, it's going to be suffocating for you and it's going to be hard for you because what you really need to be doing is taking that professional profession, sorry, which is a very uh, organized profession, um, which has many rules and many, there's a particular way of doing things and you need to turn it on its head and you need to do it your way. And you may run into some legal uh, consequences as a result of doing this, but obviously take caution and uh, do what is, you know, I don't advise anyone to do anything that's illegal here. So please uh, take note of that. But you need to be able to find a way around it so that you are doing things in a non-traditional manner. You're doing what is traditional in a non-traditional manner. And part of this means uh, uprooting things that have been settled, that have been uh, settled deep, where there's a deep foundation in place. It also requires uh, sporadic travel and sporad and movement. Another thing that they're showing me is that for some of you, it's about leaving your home, giving up your, your job. Um, I'm going to give you a particular example. If you're a doctor, all right, and you're watching this, and you've been doing that, but here you are, you've reached a block. You felt particularly proud of yourself in given situations and it's caused you a lot of heartache as well. And it's it's brought you a lot. It's brought you a lot of wealth, okay? Not in terms of money, but wealth that is, uh, you know, that cannot be bought. And you, but you've reached a roadblock because you recognize that at this point you can't go any further unless you, you stop doing what you've been doing. So let's say you you work in a hospital and you, you are doing this job, uh, you're a doctor, you're doing this job, what it is that you need to be doing actually in this case is by resigning, <laughs> leaving your job, leaving your home, you know, giving it up to, to somebody else or just leaving it basically, getting into a caravan or getting into a bus, uh, a minibus and going around and uh, treating people in the countryside or places where they don't have access to medical care. This is where your fulfillment is going to come from. Now, I'm giving you a very, very specific example here. And I, I think that there are definitely people out there who need to hear this. But that is the kind of thing that they're asking you to do. It's They're asking you to give up the, the traditional sh structure, which has offered you support from which you have gained and you have ha had a sense of fulfillment from, but which no longer work for you. To turn it on its head, to do something that's not traditional, to, but to still be able to use what it is that you have and to be able to move with it. And, and they say, they're showing me that you don't stay in one place in order to do this. You move around. You, you live a nomadic life. And if it is not that you need to move around, and if this does not uh, apply to you, if it does not resonate with you, then what it is that you need to do is turn this thing on its head completely, really uproot um, certain ways of doing things that may have been done for like 100 years or more, and, and or even less, but like very rooted things. You just kind of need to uproot it and do it in a fresh new way. And what I see when you do this, it brings you such a degree of bliss. It brings you this feeling. It's like you zoned out. It's like you're on a high. You know, it just it doesn't just bring you fulfillment. It brings you utter bliss. And this is such a beautiful feeling that... Um, yeah, that, they, that they're giving me right now to be able to explain this to you. And uh, that, so that is your advice. It's to take what you're doing right now, see how you can do it differently, uh, basically how it applies to the, in the world and how you can bring it to people in a different way. Or it doesn't necessarily, this has not necessarily got to do with people. You could be a research, a researcher, for instance, and you've been doing it, um, you've been working with an academia and you've been doing things within the rules of academia and it's just not giving you what you need. And so... It's time to abandon that and, and basically continue with your research, but put it out there in a way that is unrestricted, that doesn't have the rules of the halls of academia. It doesn't have the rules of the profession that you have, that you have to be a part of, you know, and those are just examples that I'm giving you. I'm not saying that that will particularly apply to somebody here, although that may be, but uh, that is just something I'm, I'm 
showing you how it operates. So please take it and apply it to your life and uh, see how it works for you, how it applies to you. At the end of the day, you've chosen this particular deck and you've come here to be able to hear what this message is. So if this doesn't resonate with you completely, see what it is that does and take that with you only. And and well, what I'm hearing here is that when you've done that, it, it doesn't bring you stress. It doesn't bring you uh, difficulty. It brings you such a degree of peace. And as I mentioned before, bliss, it just, it takes you to a whole new level and you are really, you're sailing. <laughs> That's the only way I can say this. And it's, it's really great. So look at where it is that you need to change, um, or you can still continue doing the things that you're doing, but you change the way in which it uh, reaches other people or the way in which it influences the community within which you work, whether it's academia or research or some, uh, you know, whatever profession that you're in and or whatever, whatever kind of community that you're in. Okay. You know, like, let's just say that you are a priest or a, yeah, let's say you're a Catholic priest in this case. Yeah, and you, you're watching this really. Okay, so let's say you're a Catholic priest and as an example. And um, you basically, the things that you're doing within the confinement of the, 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 the Catholic church, and I'm just using this as an example, please, uh, is that it's is confining you. It's not allowing you to be able to give forth what you need to give to your congregation in the way that you'd like to. So if you had to leave that, that church, and do 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 the same thing for people. Give the same thing to the people that you've been giving them already, um, but just you know under a different brand. Like let's say you're a, a, um, a life coach, or uh, you know a spiritual um, leader of some sort. So this is basically what it's saying to you. And you don't need to be rooted in this church. You don't need to be rooted in this hall uh, within that congregation. You can actually just come out of there and give what you have already and what you enjoy doing to a wider audience. You know, perhaps you begin a YouTube channel and you are, are um, you know, giving sermons on your YouTube channel. And this is going to bring you such a degree of happiness and you're just going to feel one with that and it's going to feel supported by the divine, you know, in that. So I've given you various scenarios here and I hope that... Um, that it's clear, it's clear to you how how uh, what what you're supposed to do in this situation. So um, yeah, I've enjoyed this one, and thank you very much for uh, coming by and uh, watching this. So we moving on to the last deck here, and uh, for those of you who have chosen this one, the question we're asking is, what is it that I need to know or do to bring my fulfillment and to bring most benefit into this world? Okay, so here is a situation where you are blocked. You are blocked and uh, you're struggling with it and you are in difficulty and you're in pain and in anguish and it's really hard for you to even glimpse a sense of fulfillment and happiness in your life. And you feel that you're really far away from it. But the actual truth is that you're not far away from it. And you simply, it, it can simply just evaporate one day it can be that one day you wake up and that of what what you're feeling is no longer there and you are able to experience this fulfillment in your life so what i'm hearing is that you already have this the fulfillment in your life this is a person this is a situation here where it's not a matter of you going out and doing something it's not about you going out and doing a particular job or interacting with people in a particular way or, you know, it's not about your psychic abilities or your gifts or your talents or your, your, your work, anything. It's not like about anything like that. This is simply about you working with your psychological health and your well-being. You need to really take note of what's going on with you right now and seek the guidance and the help that you need to be able to remove this blockage. You're completely blocked right now. So if you're completely blocked, it's like you put yourself in a cage. How are you going to get yourself out of that cage? How are you going to experience the sunlight if you've put yourself in a prison? 
and you've locked yourself in there. And yes, you may say, well, I haven't done that. It's my circumstances that I've done that or people around me have done that. And this is why I'm like this. And yes, people have contributed to that. And you found yourself in this situation. Let's not find somebody to blame for it. Let's take responsibility for where we're at right now and work towards being unblocked. The fact that you've chosen this card and you've come uh, this reading and you've been drawn to this and you've come here to listen to this, it means that you are ready to be able to face this blockage that you have. And it might have served you until now and protected you until now. But there's another way in which you can receive this protection. It's not by blocking yourself from receiving the goodness and the well the well being of this world. You need to be able to draw the curtains apart, allow the sunshine to come into your world, open the window, open the door, step out into this world and feel and experience what it is that this world has to offer, all the, the wonderful things of this world. You need to start feeling again and not feeling anguish and difficulty. Because what's happened here is that you, you, you've block, you're blocked and you're not able to move forth and you're not able to uh, you know, open those doors and get out and you are you are suffering as a result of it it's like you it's like you just not seen the sun you know the sun would almost be blinding when you see it and uh, you need to enable the sun to shine into your life again you need to be able to let the light come back into your life you need to recognize that this whole thing that you're feeling here is not what defines you it's a state of mind that you're experiencing right now and perhaps it's time to let it go Perhaps it's time to simply say, it's enough. I don't need to think in this way. I don't need to let this worry me anymore, no matter what it is. But you don't need to allow it to destroy you. You don't, whatever is worrying you, whatever is taking control of your mind and hurting you and eating you away and destroying your, your, your well-being, it's eating away at your chi or your prana, it's eating away at your life force, okay? Whatever it is, you don't need to respond to that in the way that you're responding to it right now. And that may have been the, the, the natural or the spontaneous response. You can allow yourself to release this, what you're experiencing. You can allow yourself to feel this pain, but stop beating yourself up about it. Stop um, thinking that you don't deserve more or that you don't deserve this fulfillment or that you can't have this fulfillment or that you're not allowed to have this. Allow yourself to step out here and look at the stars and experience the starlight upon you or the moonlight upon you and feel the night sh sky just shining upon you. Allow yourself to dream. Allow yourself to be drifted away in meditation, in fantasy or, or daydreaming. At first, tease yourself with it, you know, because you might think, okay, how can I go from there to there? Well, I'm seeing it as happening overnight, always, almost. But if you don't feel comfortable with that idea, or you're not able to, and you think, oh, that's so unrealistic, I, that's not going to happen to me, and how do I know when it's going to happen to me? Well, I'm going to tell you, you can actually tease it into your life. You know, allow yourself to feel happiness, no matter what your situation is, no matter how worried you are about it. Allow yourself to feel happiness for five minutes a day to begin with. Or begin with 30 seconds and then move on to one minute and more each day. Allow yourself that. You deserve that. You deserve more. You can have that. There's nothing standing in your way. You are blocked here and you are allowing yourself to be blocked. You can step out of the situation. This sword is not in you. You're sitting there and it's almost as if you're feeling sorry for yourself. You don't need to feel uh, sad about the situation or what's going on. But you not you do not let, need to let it control your life and your being. Because right now it's all consuming and you're not able to see the sun or you're not able to see the light. You're not able to experience this love, uh, which is divine love, which is waiting to stream through into your life. And once you're able to do that, you will have all the happiness and the desire and the well-being and fulfillment and the bliss and the full support that you need. So it's a matter of working with this, overcoming your psychological um, 
uh, difficulties at the moment or whatever it is, if it's not a, psych a clinical a psychological problem uh, like depression, uh, then uh, perhaps it's simply that you're worried sick about something and it's about actually um, allowing yourself to just release that. It doesn't serve you at this moment, okay? Yes, the situation is not changing when you stop feeling that way, but that's the whole point. You know, it's like you don't need to worry about the situation. The situation is difficult as it is. But if you stop worrying about it, you allow yourself to receive some of the divine gifts and benefits that are waiting to enter your life. And before you know it, it's going to take over your life and it's only going to be the, that beautiful, beautiful feeling of happiness, and a very strong degree of fulfillment, uh, a very complete degree of fulfillment. Sorry, that's what I meant. And you can actually allow that to be. You don't need to be in this situation anymore. And what they're showing me that comes as a result of it is an ability to have all that you want that you wanted in the first place. You see, this is it's just waiting for you. If you just step out of here and you allow yourself to be brave enough, you have the courage to step out of here. What you have waiting for you is all that you need. Yeah, and then you can protect that. You can protect that. Don't protect this. Don't protect this mindset that's messing with you right now and keeping you in this debilitated state. Step out there and uh, covet, what is the word? Like take, you know, protect something of yours, which is um, protect something of yours. Step out there and protect something of yours, which is worthy of being protected. Because these things are just waiting for you. And if you're worried about finances and if you're worried about uh, something material in this world, whether it's your job or your career or finances or something to do with that, uh, if you're concerned, about, if you're unemployed and you're concerned about how how will you do this? How will you survive? It's just, it's waiting for you to step out into the world and stop feeling like this so that you can actually have all that you need from a financial point of view, from an economic point of view, from a job perspective. This is just waiting for you and you can have it. And it's something that is, you know, you can protect it after you've had it and you'd be proud to have it. And you... You know, it's like I see the same kind of um, anxiety here as, as there. But here I see you have everything that you need and you're not struggling with that. And, you know, maybe this anxiety or, or this, um, yeah, this anxiety that you're experiencing here will follow you. But you can manage your anxiety. And, and that's the key to this. You need to manage how you be, feel about things. Yeah, you need to manage how you respond to a certain situation. So you, your initial feeling may be X. But it doesn't mean that you've got to continue feeling X in order to come out of the situation. You need to be able to release yourself and resolve this and step out in order to be able to have that fulfillment. But the first thing you need to do is work with this. Okay, work with this and greater things await you. So that was it for those of you who've chosen uh, this last deck. So, uh, I just want to say thank you again for coming by and uh, partaking in this reading. And I hope that what the information I've given you today has helped you on some level and that it will, in fact, um, enable you to move past whatever is stopping you from having the highest fulfillment that you uh, can have in this lifetime. And, uh, you know, whatever is stopping you from being of complete benefit to this world and of complete benefit to yourself. So um, I'd like to thank you once again for coming by and blessings abound from Kismet Rising.